This is a test of flow rate and electrical consumption for a one and a half horsepower variable speed pool pump. The system configurations for this test are two suction lines, one inch and a half, one two inch, a Penter Super Flow Pump, a Hayward 150 square foot cartridge filter, a two inch trunk lines, and then we're going to, in this case, isolate this line here with a FlowViz check valve digital flow meter and we're gonna confirm the results with this uh, blue-white analog uh, flow meter. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're already at 500 RPM. And uh, for, for that you know, scant power amount uh, or RPM value, we're already getting you know, 15 and a half perhaps, uh, or 15 gallons per minute. The power consumption 0.8 amps, 63 watts, so about a light bulb, you know, getting you 15 gallons per minute. That's very interesting. So let's go ahead and start getting into some more realistic numbers here. We're up to 22 gallons per minute there. Ninety two watts. Twenty nine gallons per minute. 133 watts just just one amp current draw right now and we're now up on to this variable area rotometer which is interesting you often don't get to see both of those types of meters installed together Go look at the digital's display over here. Definitely easier to read a digital one if you happen to have one. 35 gallons per minute. 186 watts. Again, this is a crazy low amount of power. And already look at how much flow you have. And this does represent somewhat of a, a better design system being that we're testing you know, dual suction lines here and a two inch uh, trunk line system. Now you're starting to see that power consumption jump up a little bit. 260 there. And that should become more and more noticeable as we're going higher here. One point eight two amps there.
57 gallons per minute. Now look at that power consumption jump. 513, over 500 watts now. Huge jump in power. Sixty seven gallons per minute, just under seven hundred watts. Five gallons per minute getting up there now. Any guesses on what the maximum is going to be? 923 watts. Almost one kilowatt. kilowatts. That's 1,200 watts, essentially. Huge jump in power, 1.54 kilowatts, 1500 watts. Again, these numbers kind of represent somewhat of a more efficient pool system. You know, it's got a cartridge filter. The filter's clean right now. Uh, dual section lines. We're pushing through a two inch line, you know, and that is kind of, again, what would represent a better system these days versus uh, inch and a half. If you only have inch and a half, it's a little bit more limiting and you, you probably wouldn't be seeing upwards of 110 gallons per minute there. 
but it's very interesting to see that uh, power consumption curve as your flow rate is increasing the power consumption increases massively you know right at the beginning there we were getting leaps and bounds of flow rate for very very little electrical cost and that's the idea with these variable speed pumps if you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can check out my website swimmingpoolsteve.com